Welcome to this permadev series for No Man's Sky Beyond and I'm starting this video up in a freighter for exactly the reason that's in front of me. I wanted to see whether any ships would turn up here. 31 slot were not going to be able to afford that. There's no way of point you pretending. 28 slot there. Because uh, I was very curious to see whether I would get any visitors if I was stood on the, the freighter itself. And I'm kind of trying to do the intro and talk because if I don't talk to these guys quickly, this is a B class. I mean, I'm not expecting, yeah, 9 million. I mean, so I, I really, I need about 10 million. Um, there's no way I can afford that ship there. And I've missed him. Oh. Well, that's the way it goes. But at least it's given me an idea of price that I, I need to get a decent hauler. I'm going to need about 10 million credits. Now, the next reason why I'm starting up here, because I do have several reasons. There's a shuttle coming in. That's a 22-foot shuttle. Yeah, there we are. Is that I had a suggestion. I actually meant to do this in the previous video, and I got so wrapped up in what I was doing, I forgot all about coming to the freighter to do it. And this is a suggestion from uh, Phil Lofting, if I can read my own handwriting. And he suggested a name for this ship here, and and I really liked it. As soon as he, as soon as I read it, I thought, yeah, that's exactly what what I could work with. And that is, I'm going to call this sh the the Laughing Gnome. Now it does seem a, a little bit of an odd name until you actually get the context. And the context, I think that's gnome, isn't it? Yeah. And the context is the fact that what Phil was saying is that is the name of a David Bowie song I think he made, he released it back in 1967 and it's quite a, a whimsical song for so if you can you consider some of the other work of, of David Bowie's produced and I thought yeah I mean what a, what a great name for a a line of ships so when we get the upgrade this will be the Laughing Gnome 1 and then we'll have the Laughing Gnome 2 <laughs> looks like the Laughing Gnome 2 might be uh, 18 slots I don't think there's I think these are roughly the same but we will do a bit of a comparison is it what we might be able to do is, is get away without having to fix all those broken slots I'm just gonna do here I was about to dump a load of rubbish on you we're gonna do comparison so this is so this is a uh, 11 well I've got 11 active slots out of 18 the only difference is that this has got an enhanced uh, this has got an enhanced launch system recharger this doesn't hmm I'm very tempted but it's gonna take a lot of my money and I'd rather keep saving up for the 10 million I mean beyond that I mean this has got a marginally better hyperdrive range but you're, you're literally talking four light years and I'm not too sure why and, and that would actually be the way it is. Um, nah, I'm going to decline. Um, I mean, it's a nice idea. I mean, if it was if it was a couple of slots higher, I think I would have gone for it. But I think just the one slot doesn't really justify it. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. This is a 22 slot shuttle. This is a 21 slot shuttle. Oh, a, I think this could turn into a little bit of a video on. Wow, 35 slot baller. Yep. Again, I can imagine how, how much that is. Yeah, it's worth about 18 million. So, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm still in the 10 million range. Anyway, let's get on to the next reason why I'm up in the freighter. I mean, once I've done this, we will be going back to my base because I also want to do a bit of work on. The, my base and move that forward a little bit and again a big thank you for all your comments and feedback guys it's all very much appreciated because oh wow <laughs> it's, it's, if nothing else you guys keep me on track and focused and one of the things that, that can happen with No Man's Sky is you can lose your focus and that's exactly what I'm doing by talking about everything else but what I'm meant to be doing and what I want to do is put a command centre and this is a based on a suggestion from Mad Pollock because i because I only had the one free, I thought, well, I can just forget about the freighter for the moment. Why have I got missing components? 
Am I not in the right ship? Ah, oh, you. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have a rush back downstairs to get in the right ship. Okay, here we are. We are back again. I'm in the right ship. What I actually did off camera was I went out and mined up a whole load of gold and silver because of, I remembered, remembered that make components on the freighter, you actually do need uh, gold and silver. There we are. And I've got enough for one more room, but I don't want to put in two command centers at the moment. And of course, this won't tell us anything because we've got an expedition. Actually, let's just have a. You never know if I might get an interaction. No expeditions assigned. Yes, thank you. Return to base. Can you please? Few potential expeditions. Fuel. This is fuel required. I haven't even got 50 tons. Oh, thank you, game. Then again, of course, the fuel's got to be in my inventory. I don't think I've got the formula actually for. Let's see. No, we haven't. What we're going to have to do is go and visit the anomaly and see if we can get the ship tech. And I think it was also Malik who's, who's talked a bit about getting the technology from the anomaly. And, and despite my restrictions, I will be going there from time to time to get uh, certain techs, especially like now if I run up against an impasse. Because I'm not going to waste lots and lots of game time running around trying to find techs if, if I, it's holding up progress. So although I'm saying I, I'm not going to go there and just buy it wholesale, I am going to use it to uncover stoppages. And I'm looking at this wall because I had an idea and I started talking. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, storage. I mean, hopefully lights. Yeah, okay, tech. Must admit, I'm still not totally comfort. So you get a shadow there, so it's almost like that's the one you're pointing at, and this is the one. And what I want to do is just get this up. So this is magnetized ferrite and sodium. So that means I should have enough to make another room. I just want to check, make sure. Though this is my only storage anyway. So yeah, we've got a little bit. So I can put some stuff in there now. And the other thing I want to do is if anyone, any of you watched my previous series, I pushed these walls back to um, to uh, what we call it sorry brain shut down a little bit again to make a room for my uh, refiners that's the word I'm looking for it is very early in the morning at the moment I'm I'm ha life has got slightly interesting for me in due to certain events that are happening in the UK at the moment I'm not even going to discuss them because it just gives me a headache even li listening to people talking about it let alone thinking about it and but it's actually caused me to get have to do a lot more work in my real job which is a bit unfortunate because it means that it's squeezing my recording time which is annoying because I what well, one thing I want to do with the permadeath series is I do want to move forward fairly quickly with this this is why I'm actually making this literally on the set on the on the day or before I've even uploaded the, the previous recording and apologies guys if I don't respond to any comments you put into that video it's just that I, I just want to move forward with this series and, and get to that nice golden place where you can actually go out and explore and just wander around oh look at that we've got some ships coming in never mind and what I want to do now is we're just going to get back to the space station so we can use the teleporter to Skype down to the... Actually, oh. Yeah, I just had a thought just as I got hooked onto the... Uh, what we call it? Uh, the tractor beam that pulls you into the space station. Yeah. And that is to call the anomaly. Uh, maybe if, if I make good progress with the the base mission type thing were come back to that okay, I just want to have a chat with these guys get some keep the language going and, um, 
we'll go for a travel symbol. You, what are you going to teach me? <laughs> for keen word of the where. I suppose in some ways that does relate to travel, doesn't it? The keen wonder, where are we at? Interloper, yep. Oi, get out of my line of vision. Wait, that's very rude. Friendship symbol. Do the Vikin make friends? This guy's a Corvax. Let's see if we can get a bit more. Traveller, a fine multi tool, something. Request dialect help. Well, we might as well keep, keep the ball rolling. I'm, there's one objective I do have for this Let's Play is to learn as many words as possible. Now I've read in the forums that some people are saying it's impossible to learn all the words. Um, have I got any navigation data? Yes I have. Because again somebody left the tip about converting, grabbing the navigation data. So I think we'll just exchange maps. Yeah. Cool that's the centralized tracking device. You have a chart of a new location. We got a planetary chart. Um, and the other thing I just noticed is it said ask for help. I'm just gonna see what he says if I ask for help. Help the point on they point at uh, a map on the screen is, and then towards the description of the waypoint towers found on most planetary sites. It seems to be requested. I gather data from these towers. Okay, let's have a quick look. So that is. Doesn't really say ordinations of a distress signal being marked. Yes, we'll be looking at that because I think I think it was Snafu who said that you now get bonuses from following up distress signals, and it'd be really great to get another crash ship, especially a nice big hauler. There we are. We are back on my base. Expand and staff your new home. So we've still got a charge there. I just want to check the charge in the battery. And storage. So that's actually, is that still charging? Time until drain, 10 minutes. Well, we'll be probably here. So what do I actually need to do? Ghost in the machine, expand. What was that? Expand and staff your new base. I think we've got to unlock new templates now, haven't we? Because we got the new, or was that um, available now? So I just want to check to see, see if this is actually opened up. That's interesting. So we still don't get any more habitation. Okay. I just want to check this again. Capture new base, upload base, leave. So just that doesn't give you the tech to get started. And I'm pretty sure I can't put a let's see what we can build here then. Decoration structures. Okay. No, it looks. Then again, I wouldn't really want to put that in there. This just just a little bit of an experiment. I like this big open area on this side. So, what we'll probably do is keep this as the outbuilding ramshackle shed. We've got some solar panel generators there. So, and this is nice and flat. So, I think what we're going to do is go there. Structures. Um, I'm going to need pure ferrite. I've forgotten. This is a deep water cha chamber. What am I on about? Aquatic. That's better. Still going to need pure ferrite and we're going to need... So that's, that's 50. So we're going to need about 400 pure ferrite. I think I've got some ferrite dust. I actually bought some. Yeah, thank you. So if I deploy the refiner, 
Where's the? Will it let me? Will it let me? Destroy the? That's the portables. And I'm just gonna drop the refiner. Actually, I uh, probably haven't opened up the. Oops. Just gonna jump in here. Uh, put some condensed carbon in this time. And uh, get that underway. So that'll give me 250. Is that actually one to one? Okay. I'm sure it used to be two to one. And what we're going to do is just have a little bit of a wander around. And grab some more pure ferrite. Apologies for not doing this off camera. I, I forgot completely all about the fact that I needed some pure ferrite. In fact, I thought it was. Oops, go away. Let's see if we can. Wait, go over there. We shoot a really long distance. How far away can we get? Will that symbol disappears or will it stay once it's engaged do what so we've got a little button of a hundred and eighty three let's get just shoot at really long distance just keep picking it up I suppose it's nice and useful the fact that this so much of this around. I don't think that wants to die. Nothing personal, Rock, but nearly there. That was just being a little bit tougher than it should be. Just pull away. I think once you've engaged it, you can pull away. The self fire it will do. So Maybe I'm inventing a new technique here. I think I've got all the creatures around here. Uh, let's see if we can ignore. Ah. Hey! Hey, you're meant to be looking at the rock over there. This is where I get myself killed. Well, we'll let him we'll let him calm down and Yeah. You know, Relax. <laughs> so I need to discourage you from coming this way. Now, the only real problem with building on planets like this is the grass. And I don't know whether they've actually fixed that. Um, why is that one? Well, structures. And up one. Oh, so I'm going to gonna get the ferrite pure ferrite out of here as well not doing very well and again it is um, what just after four o'clock in the morning at the moment <laughs> my days seem to be starting earlier and earlier nowadays but the rate I'm going the eventually the evening is going to meet the day and of course we're gonna scatter for a door in here yeah. And, wow. and of course we're going to have to put in power um yeah I must admit I'm not a big fan of the this new power system or I, mean, oh, I like the idea of the power system it's just that I'm, I'm not the biggest of fans of this wiring system let me just pick up here. And I suppose, I mean, I'm assuming that I, the power does flow through the cables. Um, is it there? So I don't have to hook the battery up. I can hook this up. Like that. So we'll have that there. So what's in the battery at the moment? Is this battery status charging? It's 98% so really I need another battery don't I? I don't think I can make one though. 
Can I make another battery? Well, let's see. We need some magnetized ferrite. I've gone through all my magnetized ferrite. I'm sorry for the digression, but I think making another battery, if we're getting lots of power generation, we need to get that into the thing. So we'll just let that run. Now, if I come into here, we sh just want to see uh, structures, decoration, specialist, terminals. Ah, I put all the pure ferrite into the. Uh, I'm not doing very well here. Just get some more. Get rid of this rock here. Hopefully the sentinel won't annoy me too much. I haven't got enough of that. How far off am I from this? Look at perfect timing. And I'm just going to put that in the exosuit. And if I put a battery behind here, I'm just going to put a battery. As they say, it's the first 20 or so times that when you do this, that you know, if I put the battery behind. Now, if any of you guys follow Zane's channel, he, he's produced a couple of really good videos on how to build bases, and they are quite really interesting. Why is that saying not connected? Is that because you've got to? Okay, this you to there. Was it just like, as I was saying, Zane has produced some very good videos. Or well, they look potentially very good because I haven't actually watched them properly completely. Um, in in the last couple of days on base building, and he's good, he's produced one very interesting uh, one on thirty tips for getting for advanced base building. As I say, I watched about the first ten minutes minutes of it, and it looked very very interesting. I do mean to go back and spend a bit more time and and watch it when and if I get some time. So if any of you guys are into base building or want to know more about base building, I, I strongly recommend that you check uh, Zane's channel out. He, he does some very good videos on these subjects. Uh, probably a lot better than I am, actually. Never mind. Right, so... Fire Observer, Banding Base. Now I'm assuming that they're going to have to go there, yeah, because you've got to... Well, it's the space station, so we're going to have to go and find a new member of our staff. Okay. What we're going to do is just not pick that up. So, how's the situation here? Firing loom. Uh, starship. We got everything powered up. I thought I had some. I used up all my. Oh, I thought I had loads of what we call it, um, very salvage tech. Okay, evidently I was wrong. So what we need to do now is go up to a space station. I suppose we could choose any one that we want. Fleet command room. So that's the one there. Current system. So this is now starting to give us a bit more information. And it's now starting to grow. Is the filter gone? Oh, I really used to like the filter. I think we'll go here and see where, see if I can find a geck. Oh, it used to be a geck anyway. I think the place I want to go to is over there, isn't it? There used, there used to be a room where you had uh, various uh, different uh, members of races used to hang out. So we're just going to go here. I was absolutely sure I had. Oh, one thing I didn't check out. That is the. No. Current multi tool 18 slot. Wow, 22 slots. But then I'd have to reinstall all that, and it would cost me 1.4 million. 
That's a B class. Ooh. Okay, let me just think about this, guys. Now, what I'd have to do is deconstruct that. My starship is nearly full up. I send that to the starship. Right, we're going to go for it. What I'm going to do is deconstruct this, 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 this. This. That. That's still four shields. Means we're going to have to re equip all this technology again. I know it's going to be a pain in the neck, but. Dismantle. I, I think the op, the op chance of a getting a 24 slot or 22 slot B class which is just too good to pass up. It's going to take most of my cash, but so we've now got a a new multi tool. Um, yeah, large bore projectile launcher plasma propels plasma shells designed for rapid ground excavation. Yeah, um, I'm not convinced. To be honest. I think I'd like to move that up there and I want the space here so if I if I pick that up I want that up and press the wrong key so if we move that there we can put the bolt caster there we can bring the uh, phase beam up that way okay. what we can do is put the We can have that there. I think we can put the actually we'll put the terrain. No, we can get the enhancements there. So I put the terrain. I'm just gonna put this in. We got the terrain manipulator there. I think I'll probably put the personal shield up here because that should be more than enough slots for the. We'll put. No, we don't have enough of that. We don't have enough of that. So we need a matic seal and a, I don't think I can make an matic seal. Yes, I can. Make that. And multi tool. Right, if I, I, yeah, I can put the. Now, if we put the. This up here. We got the wiring looms and that. We've now got that there. And the last thing I need to install is I need two ion batteries for that. Um, I make two. Yes, thank you. And I think we're definitely going to put the personal shield up there. So that gets the weapon back to a, a reasonable basis. But what we're going to have to do is get the scanner enhancements again and that there. So what we probably have to do is go to the anomaly and sort that out. Right, what was I doing? So apologies guys. But that was just too good an opportunity to pass up, even if it did cost me money. There we are. There's the happy little geck. Do you want to become... Is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry. Everything is paid for long ago. It's quite above board. As a stranger speaks, I smell, a, small, a smell assaults me. A pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories and places I never visited and of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, this gang is cradling their fallen brethren. The vision ends and the overseer remains. Uh, construction, hire the construction overseer, yes. So that gives us that. Yes, target outside local system. Well, 
get crap and nanites. Definitely need to come, remember to come back into this room. Do I need to, can I sell anything? We've got, still got five wiring looms. Let's change the ship. And actually we've got some... Now I don't want the gold because I want to work, they want to work on my uh, base. Uh, not base, freighter base, sorry. And what I'm going to do is put back to here. Then we'll go back to buy. Just see if there's anything I can... We've got 2,000 ferrite dust. I'm going to need uh, pure ferrite, so if I, if I buy, let's buy it, see if we can get up to about a thousand ferrite dust. Just, that will save me the trouble. I mean, I, generally I don't like buying ferrite dust, but that will make life a little bit easier in oops just gone down the wrong way yeah it will make life a little bit easier back back when I go back to the base which I think I will do it means I won't have to go out and mine pure ferrite I'm just going to come here Let's get back to here. Um, so we're going to go back to our base. Oops. And just check your battery charge. It's draining. As we is there, I wonder if there's a way you can have a, an overall view. Well, it's got the same number in, so maybe it is. But since we've got seven minutes left on the battery charge. And this doesn't mess about, does it? Actually, sorry. I'm going to put the... Just drop the... Uh, portable out tech. We'll put this out so that we can start pushing out the uh, what we call it, the pure ferrite. There's, a, uh, there's at least one more thing I want to do after we've spoken to this guy. And then he, what he should do is give us our a base mission. You have you have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst, amidst the infinite. Take the take this glass and let starlight flood through your jolly. Into, take this glass and let starlight flood into your jolly home. Okay, so this is actually so we've got a new formula for that. Expand the star. Is that it. So, oops, everything pours through glass in the end. But there's time enough for that. That there are other things that we have to do. If you prepare chromic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg you. The overseer asked me to gather chromic metal in preparation of the recruitment of a scientist. Yeah. So these are fairly standard science missions. Mm -hmm. Expanding the base. Well, I do want to expand the base because I want to try test something. And I'm just going to put that back in the exosuit and uh, some more ferrite dust to keep churning the ferrite dust out. And what I want to do is come in here and that's it. General. General. No, I do want that. Specialist. Go back. Structures. Up one large. Okay, so we've got no connecting corridors yet. All we've got is a door, aquatic and wooden. What I wanted to do was see if I could um, put an extension col column in another one of these to see whether the power actually spreads. Oh well, never mind. 
it with that spare. I mean, is there anything in here? I mean, is this expanded this now? Let me just see. Structures. So we're definitely going to need to go to the anomaly, which means we're going to need salvageable tech. Point of interest. Return to the overseer and wait. Your overseer waits at your terminal. Okay, I'm getting a bit confused here. I thought I had a mission. Follow the adventurer. Expand and staff your new base. Expanding the base. Return to Overseer. Okay. He's probably going to tell me that I need the... Have I got the chromic metal? There you are again, Traveller. I'm so sure that you have required miracles. Faith them. Do not know. Let me see. Give chromic metal. I'm not exactly sure why, unless, of course, I had some there. Magnetized ferrum. Problem is, is, there's a really long lag now after talking to him. We have littered the universe with our greed, Traveller. This planet is no exception. But there is much that can be done with, with the litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I should use that to fashion... Us plans for a storage container. Uh, work Gek looked is reflective for a Gek. It's almost as seem to regret the greed of the characteristics. Yes, okay, I'm just going to power through these. Okay, we've got a mission. You won't regret it, friend. Does that mean we've now got a mission updated? Build a science terminal, yes. Definitely think we're going to have to go to the uh, anomaly and check things out. Yeah, it's starting to. Let me just check that mission again. Staff and expand your base. He just gave me a, a mission. Or is it. Do I have to find any abandoned building? Let's drop a save. Okay, so it's abandoned structure, 13 minutes away. I'm aware that time's pushing on, and the last video was getting overly long as well. We're going to go do the abandoned structure, get that out of the way, and then in the next part, we will be going up on the anomaly and, and trying to get the text. All right, just going to. Whoops, flying too far. Flying too fast. That new. I don't ever remember being told that I was flying too fast. There's one thing I really wish they would put back in, and that's the ability to hover. I know it is only part of a mod in the early days of the game. Oh, great. Oops. of a panic there. Have I got you? Yeah. Okay. We'd probably do something stupid like shoot one of those by accident. Okay. Well. Yeah, I've been getting a little bit distracted and not paying attention. Got the terminal. User identified. Terminal active. Assessing schematics. The, pl the place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily pulsating fauna that I've seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with a little hope of success. To my surprise, it buzzes noisily there. Ah, so we're going to get some new schematics. My overseer's, my overseer's intuition has served him well so far. I shall have to trust that, s that s these schematics contain the required data. Ah, I think I offloaded the Pope theme, didn't I? Turn to Overseer. Yeah, but before we go that, I just want to... Certainly going to... Ah, great.
with the mining beam wasn't the most apt. Got Strider sausages. We'll have a look round, see if there's any buried tech or anything. Because if I come out here, I might as well take advantage of. No, there's nothing really, nothing special around here, and I could get grab some carbon. There. Has the mining beam colour changed? I'm sure it was a, uh, a, a different colour before. I'll have to check the videos to see. Let's just grab. We're going to annoy the like, local sentinels. Oh, go away. Trouble is, he's close by now. Okay, I can take the hint. Just check the fuel. We're okay. Of course, it's recharging. We're definitely going to have to see if we can get that recharge tech. There's a great big hole in the ground right near the base. And well, that's still going. Let me just. Well, that's pretty good. The inevitable plant that comes through into the base. Okay. You're back, so I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as I found data. It's good to see, it's good to see the Gek so, so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me energized in the task. So this should hopefully give me the general's one. Received nine items learned. Now that's given us the ability to build all the storage vaults now. That would be useful. Now then, do you think, friend, we should put that science terminal to use? Fill our home with the clicks of... I'm so glad that we had this chat, friend. So, we need a science terminal, but... I'd rather build the base all connected up, but I suppose if push comes to shove, we'll just have to put out a another a building I mean, coming here. And we're just going to put that in the exosuits. Okay. we got plenty of pure ferrite. Okay, game, if you insist, oh, I suppose I'm going to have to put in another. It's annoying, though. I would have thought that I'm pretty sure before whenever you built something it would actually this is a small that's door large so you, you've got to build these actually you could put them on top but I don't have a ladder hmm they've definitely changed this because before you could have you had the connecting tunnels so we're going to have to we're just gonna have to do it this way, which is seems a bit stupid to me, to be honest. Then again, we can always move it afterwards. I wonder if it's a feature of this wiring system. If any of you guys know, feel free to chuck it in the comments, and because I'm, I'm, I do accept that I'm still very much learning this, despite the fact of building a lot of bases. It just, I don't know, it just seems messy. But then we can always tear it all down and change it later on. Oops. Two, let's see, specialist. Up one. Terminals, up one. Then we need some magnetized ferrite. <laughs> well, we can soon fix that. We'll just put in. 100 pure ferrite in and we'll put that into the exosuit and we'll just punch out that what I'm going to do guys what so I think just to find this video up what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the science terminal into here we'll see what the scientist has got to say and then that will be it for this video right, just hook out the magnetized ferrites Still not sure about these uh, power cables. I got a feeling. I know I put the restrictions in about the base, but 
Nope, still, still want that. I'm starting to maybe rethink that slightly in the sense that I may have to effectively tear this base down or build a new base just to, and of course, what we're going to have to do is recruit a scientist, which means I'm going to have to run up to, um, we go back to where we were before. I think there was a Corvex hanging around there. Um, yeah, we're current system, the command room. That's interesting that the, that's where the location of my freighter has now appeared in there. Let's go somewhere a bit different, shall we? Now, I'm pretty sure that we got... I mean, I don't know if I talk to this guy, we'll be able to recruit him. That gets best there. What's this clearly distracting? Okay, leave. And we're gonna have to. Okay. Um, one thing. I, oh yeah, one thing I did forget to do is see if this guy had for some installable scanner tech. So what? I'm, yeah, I think I've got the nanites for this. Okay. Purchase upgrade modules. Um, cannon module, scanner module S. What's that? Yeah, we're certainly going to take that. In fact, I'm, I'm, we're going to go for full S class. There's a C class there now. So, what we can do now, oh, well, we better sell some stuff off as well. I was going to run out of. What happened to the scanner tech? Oh, it's here. It's confusing me the fact that this looks the same as a microprocessor. And I think if we put that just in there, that's going to increase the scan radius by 33%. Rewards to, um, what's that? Um, 7,174. Thank you. We'll take that. And hopefully there will be a, a Corvax somebody in it. This should, oops, I've got that already. This should be our scientist. So we're just going to grab him. Then I'm just going to rattle through this. No. Okay, so much for that theory. I've just noticed the time. I am going overly long again, as usual. I think what I'm going to need to do is try and find the scientists to recruit off camera. And so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.